when their father like commanding officer was killed 16th bihar soldiers went deep inside china and killed everyone in sight the story of their valor is now out it has been a week since the Galwan Valley area of Eastern Ladakh witnessed a violent face-off between the Indian Army and People's Liberation Army troops that resulted in unprecedented bloodshed near the line of actual control, the effective Sino-India border. In lack of clarity, the reports about the face-off have been filled with contradictions and gaps in the entire chain of events, but we now have a detailed account of what actually transpired on the fateful day. According to ANI, the face-off was triggered by a Chinese observation post at Petroling Point 14 in the Galwan Valley area. The situation would soon escalate into a violent clash as a young Indian Army team decided to go across the line of actual control. The June 15 incident happened in the backdrop of a disengagement process 10 days after a core commander level meeting between the two sides. It was in accordance with this disengagement process that the Chinese dismantled this observation post, but true to China's deceitful tactics, the post was up again overnight on June 14. The 16 Bihar Infantry Battalion led by late Colonel Santosh Babu was required to ensure that the Chinese removed this post. Writing for India Today, Shiva Roor has stated that the commanding officer himself led a team that reached the Chinese observation post. Remember that though the atmosphere was tense due to the ongoing military standoff, there were no feelings of animosity or high tempers as yet. The PLA had, however, already planned a military confrontation and when the Indian Army patrol team reached the spot with the aim of inquiring the reason for re-establishment of the Chinese observation post, they were met with new faces, striking immediate suspicion in the Indians. The PLA had sent a new set of troops, freshly diverted from a PLA exercise in China-occupied Tibet in the latter half of May. The first confrontation, the most innocuous of the three tussles, happened here. The new PLA troops were belligerent and rowdy against a professional Indian Army team led by the calm colonel. The Chinese soldiers pushed Colonel Santosh Babu and hurled Chinese expletives at him, which paved the way for an hours-long clash. The Indian Army team became furious at their commanding officer being disrespected by the Chinese. After all, Indian soldiers have utmost affection for their commanding officers. To see your CEO get disrespected is no less than seeing your parents get abused. So, the 16 Bihar infantry troops pounced upon the Chinese and engaged in fist fights that lasted for half an hour. There were injuries on both sides, but the Indian side prevailed and the observation post was burned down and reduced to ashes. But the PLA had already invited the wrath of the Indian army by assaulting Colonel Santosh Babu. Alarmed by the re-establishment of the Chinese post that was now dismantled and the new faces on the Chinese side as opposed to the usual friendly faces in the Galwan Valley region, a decision was taken to cross into the Chinese side. It is also possible that some unusual suspicious movement and troop build-up was detected on the Chinese side. The second phase of the violent face-off would happen when the Indian team crossed into the Chinese side. It was during this face-off that most of the casualties happened. India Today TV quotes an Indian Army officer deployed near the Shok Galwan confluence as saying, The boys were angry and aggressive. You can imagine how much they wanted to teach a lesson to the aggressors. Colonel Babu's worries about the sudden change in Chinese attitude came true as the new type of PLA troops were waiting in the positions on the banks of the Galwan River and also in positions up on a ridge. The Chinese troops started targeting the Indian soldiers with heavy stones. One of these stones struck the commanding officer, Colonel Santosh Babu, who fell into the fast-flowing Galwan River. Santosh Babu's death was like losing a father for these soldiers. Tempers ran high and uncontrolled after this incident. For the next 45 minutes, troops from both sides engaged in a bitter, violent face-off during which the bodies piled up. The Bihar Regiment Battalion was heavily outnumbered, a total of 100 Indian Army troops as against 300 to 350 PLA troops on the location. But as Mark Twain had said, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. The Bihar Regiment soldiers were ferocious and they stunned the Chinese with their bravery. The third phase of the face-off happened after 11 p.m. in the night when the Indian Army was joined by the Ghatak platoons from both the 16 Bihar as well as 3 Punjab Regiment. 
The Ghatak platoons in the Indian Army battalions are shock troops who excel in close quarter battles and spearhead assaults ahead of the battalion. The Indian Army troops went deeper into the Chinese side in order to ensure that aggressive PLA troops are prevented from coming close to the LAC. The fight was spread over a large area across different pockets across the LAC as opposed to a mob battle at a particular point. Casualties happened during hand-to-hand -hand combat and use of other melee weapons when men from both sides fell into the narrow Galwan River. Many got injured as they plunged onto heavy rocks that are common in the location of the violent face-off. Reports suggest that Indian soldiers entered a rage that China had not foreseen and they started fighting with bare hands and snapped necks of PLA soldiers. The iron rods and spiked nail bats used by the Chinese soon fell into the hands of the Indians. Heavy casualties have been inflicted on the Chinese and 16 bodies were returned to them by the time the face-off ended. China had 16 initial casualties as compared to 3 initial casualties on the Indian side. One can only imagine the number of PLA troops who would have died and also understand why China doesn't want to reveal the numbers. In an impromptu action, India gave China a bloody nose on the Chinese side after weeks of Chinese provocation despite talks. This only adds to the glory of the Bihar Regiment, which had also fought the Pakistan Army in the summers of 1999, exactly 21 years ago. The highly decorated regiment of the Indian Army is around seven decades old and has participated in many wars like the 1948 war, the 65 war, the 1971 war and the 1999 Kargil war. It has delivered every single time.